Um, I'd like to open it up for questions. Um, if anyone has a question um, for any of our speakers, um, please uh, stand up and do you have a microphone? Sorry. Um, I'd like to have a question for uh, Kim Hansu. Um, actually, for the blast, uh, when you define the blast, it is, is uh, just an uh, air blast, which means the blast detonated in the free airspace. But um, actually, what if the blast had exploded in the uh, bottom space, if, so there is a strong deflection, so then it possibly maximizes almost uh, twice. So. Um, do you have any plans for the um, criteria for that? Um, like in the situation, depends on the where the blaster is actually exploded. Because actually, it is very critical to the blast load. Although it, it although it has the same condition at the same distance. Yes, uh, the reflected uh, pressure is a high, uh, highly uh, increased. Uh, we simulate uh, that kind of effect by modeling the air and uh, a boundary condition. We, uh, uh, we make sure it uh, represents uh, the result uh, quite close to experiment. So uh, the boundary condition uh, to make uh, some reflective pressure. So uh, that kind of uh, effect already uh, included uh, our uh, study. Um, actually, if I may more clarify, what if the same blast in the detonator in the surface and the bottom, like a floor level, it might um, blast load at with the same distance, it might be maximized as a twice. There is a huge difference between like a contact charge and the free air blast charges. Actually, one of the CONEP has a also has that one. Like, a, what if the blast is detonated in the free air, and then what if the blast is detonated by the surface, like a, a close to the surface, it has a much, much deflections, a difference uh, between the deflection energies. So, well, it seems like when you define the blast, it seems like um, the blast is assumed to be just free air blast, but in the actual cases, um, it's almost impossible to be like a free air, play, free air detonation. So like when you have um, defined the criteria about the blast resisting design, then do you have any further plans about those factors? Like when the blast is not only the free air blast, but what if the blast is close to the surface? Then what if like um, blast was like 100 kilogram then with the same distance, it might be a 200 kilograms, same as a 200 kilograms. Yeah, uh, the, the modeling error and the boundary condition uh, the reflect uh, the, the kind of uh, augmented uh, blast pressure. Uh, the, the, the explosive placed at uh, 2,000 millimeter from the ground, so it, uh, it uh, include some reflective effect. So uh, I think uh, our study already uh, uh, included uh, that uh, reflective uh, effect. But, uh, I didn't catch your, your last uh, question. Okay, I think that there's some, some more okay. questions okay. too. I'd like to, um, if there's any other questions for, okay. I'd like to ask a question of uh, Captain uh, Mike Stein. Um, the, the system that you um, is is being used now in New York City um, is that system being used anywhere else in the in the country, or is it primarily in in New York City? And has it been tested in a actual fire and has been worked? You know, it hasn't been used in an actual fire, but it's been used uh, in actual uh, instances. Okay. Whether it be uh, false alarms, where to go to search false alarms, um, but uh, it, it's it's installed in several buildings in New York City, and uh, uh, variations of the type system uh, are going to be used in um, Boston, Chicago. So they're all they're all addressing the code 
in some form or another. Uh, when I talk about the negative uh, 93 dB, uh, some of the other town, uh, the other cities around the country are a, a variation of that standard, but something along the same lines is what they're using. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, I have one more question, sorry, uh, Mr. Kim. You, the, you know, this blast uh, for the reinforced column, based on the study that you did do, is there any um, information that's been discussed about uh, new ways of reinforcing the column that came out of your study uh, for high threat areas that may be implemented in the future? other than the standard detailing uh, that you would do for uh, reinforced columns? Uh, uh, my study is uh, basically uh, some, uh, uh, the, to provide uh, a, a basic idea about uh, uh, design chart, but you are right, uh, there is some special detail to uh, increase the resistance uh, against the blast, like uh, CFT column has a great increased resistance uh, when you compare to normal uh, ice column. Also, we uh, come up with uh, some uh, special detail for uh, CFT column, like uh, uh, connecting the both uh, plate. I mean, uh, placing some stiffness inside of uh, uh, CFT column. That detail uh, will increase the, uh, the blast resistance. So, uh, there are so many uh, uh, the devices or details to increase the uh, blast resistance. Okay, thank you. Is there any more questions? I think that uh, closes the session. Thank you very much for participating. Thanks. Thank